Hello and welcome to Dixie's Storytime World. Let's find out how Snake got his hiss. Snake is like no other animal in the world, for, as everyone knows, Snake is long and Snake is skinny. When he wants to get from one place to another, Snake slithers along a tree trunk or slides through the grass. And when he meets another animal, he hisses, but way back when time began. Snake wasn't long, and he wasn't skinny, not at all. And Snake certainly did not hiss. In fact, only the very oldest animals on earth remember how Snake got a shape and a sound all his own. In the beginning, Snake was round, as round as a coconut, as round as the full moon rising over the baobab tree. And when Snake wanted to get from here to there, from there to here, he didn't slither and hiss. Instead, he puffed himself up, saying, hop, 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 and began to roll along, around, around, around. The problem was that Snake never cared a basket of bananas for anyone but himself. he just roll along, all puffed up, never looking from right to left, nor from left to right. Snake had decided. He was the most important animal in the world. He thought he was invincible. One day, after a heavy rain, Snake was rolling along the forest path, around, 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 all puffed up with his own importance. From a different direction, hungry hyena was skulking along the path, looking for prey. At the very same second, hyena and Snake came to opposite sides of an enormous mud puddle. Look out, Hyena snarled, but he was too late. Snake rolled right into the middle of the puddle, splish, splash, splat, covering Hyena with globs of mud. Furious, he slunk off into the underbrush. To this day, Hyena wears mud-coloured spots and snarled at snakes. Did Snake watch where he was going after that? Not at all. Rolling along the path, around, around, around. Snake didn't so much as slow one snail's length, not even when he met up with Lion, king of the beasts. Now Lion roared a warning, but Snake, all puffed up with his own importance, didn't move right or left. Instead, Snake whooshed right between Lion's legs and smack into a termite mound. Whack! Lion was so startled by Snake that the hair all around his face stood on end, sprouting a magnificent mane that Lion still wears today. As for Snake, he hit that termite mound with such a whomp he was flattened on one side. From then on, whenever Snake wanted to go from north to south, or from south to north, he puffed himself up, saying, hop, hop, hop. But now, instead of around, 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 he thumped along, ka-thump, ka-thump, ka-thump. Did that teach Snake to look out for others? Not at all. A few days later, Snake was thumping along the forest path when he came to a large savanna where the grass stretched from the edge of the rainforest to the end of the sky. As usual, he didn't look up or down, but kept moving out into the grass. ka thump ka thump ka thump Right towards Ostrich, who was standing there stretching to snatch a bingle berry. Look out! Ostrich squawked, but she was too late. All puffed up with his own importance, Snake thumped right over Ostrich's toes. ka thump ka thump bump ka thump bump bump Yo! Yo! Ostrich howled. Did her feet hurt? They hurt so much that she tried to fly straight up into the air. However, Ostrich's wings were tiny, too tiny to lift such a big bird, so she started to run instead, faster and faster, across the savanna. To this day, Ostrich is one of the fastest runners on earth. Now, did Snake watch where he was going after that? Nope, not at all. He kept thumping along in the grass, ka-thump, 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 right into the trunk of a banana tree. Wang! 
In the treetop, Monkey had just picked a bunch of bananas. When Snake hit the tree, Monkey was so startled he dropped those bananas plop right onto Snake. Upset about losing his lunch, Monkey began to chatter and leap from tree to tree, just as he does today. As for Snake, that bunch of bananas made little bumps all over him, and from then on, whenever Snake wanted to go from east to west or from west to east, he puffed himself up, saying "hop hop hop." But instead of around, 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 or kathump, 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 he bumped along, pockety, pockety, pockety. Did that teach Snake to look out for others? Nope, not at all. A few days later, Snake was thirsty, so he bumped along to the waterhole, pockety, pockety, pockety. Crocodile, sleek and still, was sunning herself at the water's edge. Look out! Crocodile croaked, opening her jaws wide, but she was too late. All puffed up with his own importance, Snake didn't look forward or back. Instead, he bumped right up and over Crocodile. Pockety, pockety, pockety. To this day, Crocodile carries Snake's bumpy pattern on her back. Did Snake watch where he was going after that? Oh no, he didn't. He just bumped along. Pockety, 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 right into the mud by the waterhole. Splat! Elephant, with her huge flap ears and her huge flat feet, was at the waterhole that day too. Busy filling her trunk with water, elephant didn't notice snake as snake rolled right under those huge elephant feet. They trampled snake and trampled snake until he was as flat as a fig leaf. Pushing all of Snake's puffed-up hop 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 air right out of him. While elephant is enormous, it's true, she wouldn't hurt a testy fly. When she saw Snake, elephant gently picked him up with her trunk, but Snake's loud squeezed out hiss 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 made elephant's trunk tickle and she sneezed a kajou. Snake spiraled through the air. Hissing all the while, head chased by tail, snake stretched out, 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 until it became longer and thinner than elephant's trunk. To this day, snake's shape is long and thin. Now, whenever snake wants to get from near to far or from far to near, he doesn't go around, 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 or. Cut thump, cut thump, cut thump, or pockety, pockety, pockety. He wriggles along instead, and whenever Snake tries to puff himself up, saying "hop, hop, hop," he's so skinny he can only hiss, hiss. Has Snake learned to look out for others? Well, perhaps he has. When he meets another animal today. Snake hisses and slithers the other way, fast as he could go. The end. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed this story, and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye for now. Music